秋広と高木は一度イサリビに戻ってしんがりは俺がやるあれはどうするあれうわた助けろああまあ敵からは離れていってるし回収は後でもいいでしょう鬼かよ三日月さん Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the 11th episode review for Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. So, a lot of cool things happen in today's episode, such as actually being able to see Barbatos charge straight into the fight with a pretty cool booster pack. Which, by the way, I wish they would have actually explained a bit more, but you know, they didn't. But it's okay, we also got to see some pretty interesting plot twists regarding Akihiro's little brother Masahiro when he is confronted by Akihiro after he snatches Takaki. So what really appeals to me for this entire episode was pretty much seeing satisfying action scenes finally such as Barbato's fighting with his sword because uh, as we all know he usually just sticks with a lance and we finally got to see a bit more variety in terms of him using other melee weapons. And in addition to that we also got to see some of the space pirates which are the guys attacking them which are by the way called the brewers who also use AV just like Mikazuki and their motive was to get a hold of Kudelia and at this point in the anime that really shouldn't be surprising honestly. Their soldiers seem to mostly consist of space debris with the commander of the forest being a pretty odd looking dude that acts like a complete asshole towards them. I mean this was pretty clear as we saw him literally beating the shit out of Masahiro because he let the hostage escape. I mean, if anybody deserves to die so far in the series, this guy definitely deserves to be a top candidate. And maybe I too because of what little scenes we actually get to see him in now. And well, when we actually do get to see him, he just seems to have developed an unhealthy grudge which will most likely get him killed. I mean, I mean like seriously, I used to have a fairly strong amount of pity for him. But now it seems like they're gearing him up to do something incredibly stupid in a future episode. But at least we can now create what I like to call the Mikazuki Hay Club because now there are other people that are developing strong grudges towards Mikazuki for killing their comrades. Such as this pirate from the Brewers who is very, very sad about the death of Pedro here. And moving back to the plot twist of Masahiro being Akihiro's brother, it'll be pretty interesting to see what kind of events will unfold in future episodes. And I mean, like seriously, from the moment I saw Masahiro say Akihiro's name very slowly, I had a pretty good idea it was his you know, older brother. I mean, you can just tell straight away from the tone of his voice, and also from the fact that his brother was separated from him long ago, which was told to us in um, one of the recent past episodes. Oh, and I guess Takaki getting injured was a big part of this episode as well, but I mean, does anybody actually care about this guy? I mean, sure he's a nice guy and all, but to me he doesn't really seem like he should be put in the front lines judging from his personality, and I hope he takes this as a lesson and never goes back in the front lines ever again, because he literally just went out there his first time and he just got, well, annihilated judging from his injuries. But yeah, there was also the scenes involving Fareed and his very questionable fiance, and by questionable I mean her age. Uh, this guy is just straight fucking pedo, but of course there has to be a legitimate reason for this. If not, then, well, rip. <laughs> but yeah, overall this episode was pretty entertaining as always. I really enjoyed seeing new gear for Barbatos and hope we get to see more additions very soon. So as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And as always, let me know how you guys thought about the episode down below in the comments. And yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.